All right, guys, we're working on a Maytag Whirlpool. Hear that sound? We're gonna see what that is, but it sounds like the actuator. It says sensing. So it's trying to engage. It's trying to make a decision. All right, guys, so this is a shifter, mode shifter. And what it does, it takes the washer. Right now, the washer is in agitate. And when it goes into spin, it moves it up. And this is free. OK? Um, so right now the wash plate is moving and this is when the drum moves for spinning. So sometimes when your shifter is trying to move and this is tight, this is a splutch by the way. So its job is to take the signal from this and move it. You can see where it looks like this was binding. You can see the scratches on it. Let me see. Definitely a uh, marking. So something was binding. Something was not being, uh, uh, something was just binding up. So, guys it does not hurt just to put a tad not a lot okay this is a little wheel it does uh, they can seize up so slight bit of lubrication does not hurt them at all keeps moisture out of them so not a lot a little goes a long way Keep this uh, part clean. That's where the eye is. It reads and lets the motor, let the computer knows where the drum and its location and speed. All right, put this back together. Okay, two Phillips screws. Put those in, don't over tighten them, just snug them. Make sure you get this all the way up. your nut. This has Loctite. These have a tendency to work themselves off. So we always recommend a little bit of Loctite. Not a lot. 
again a little goes a long way use the blue not the red Torque them good, don't use an impact, not good, not recommended. You can end up snapping when you use impact. And you don't have a good feel of how much torque is being applied. Uh, impact, they have their places, but when it comes to certain things that can be damaged, they don't belong there. Once you snap bolt, it's done. And to fix it costs way too much. Okay, to put the belt on, um, I like to start on the top, and some people do it from the bottom to the big one. I do it both ways. Um, once you rotate, you just pull the belt a little bit, and boom. Okay, start at the bottom, work your way up top. Drain and spin. Start. Just like that. And it should lock again. And then it's ready to go. There she is. Nice and smooth. Thanks for watching.